The next day. I can't believe that Mia is actually staying. <laughs> she has taken it off her nose. <laughs> I can't believe she's actually allowing this mask to stay on. Hi, Mama. Hi. We came to Pep. I'm trying to find um, night nightwears for her. I can't seem to find nightwears. Okay, I can see some here, but these ones are for bigger babies, rather bigger children. Mimi? <laughs> eh? Why is it that when you are eating, the entire floor eats with you? Why? Hmm, sweetheart? Why, mama? Hmm, what are you eating? What are you eating? You guys, Mia loves Irish potatoes. Like, mama. fried Irish potatoes. Mama, <laughs> she loves fried Irish potatoes, mama. you guys. She loves it so much. Mama. Ha you even saying can i have some give mommy small hmm? can i have some um, you didn't give me now you're stingy you didn't give me mama you don't want to share she loves irish so much let me pick up this one from the floor so you don't put it in your mouth mm? Mm. can i have some give mama you don't want to release it why hey guys how are you guys doing so i'm stepping out right now you guys i just need some air you know how you need some air you've just been home for as long as possible and you just need some air i'm just going to, i'm forcing myself to go grocery shopping <laughs> leaving the house right now hello good afternoon how are you doing <laughs> the next day how are you guys doing good morning this is almost 10 a.m on a friday morning and um you guys are literally just having a cup of tea and rice jello fries i know that's the weirdest combination but it's something that we used to have as kids sometimes in the morning when there's leftover rice from the day before from the night before we usually would have the rice and then they would make us like a cup of tea as well so that was what was in the kitchen i just felt like i should just have that so just in case you are wondering and thinking i'm so weird but hi guys how are you guys doing and now i know like you guys the last week has been one of the craziest weeks i've ever experienced in my life in terms of what's going on in the world right now and with social media 
this 2020 has just been all over the place it's not even enough that we are facing a global pandemic like the worst pandemic to hit the world like in my own time at least since i was born this is the worst pandemic that has hit the world and while we are still trying to wrap our heads around what's going on and trying to stay safe and protect ourselves this same 2020 is the same year that racism has gotten to its peak in america you guys must know already i'm sure you've seen a thousand and one videos on this already about the death of george floyd it's like what's happening what's really going on like how many more black lives are going to be lost because of police brutality like how many yes america the racism everything it's crazy what's going on it's 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 appalling what is going on and time over time year after year year in year out black men and even in some cases self some black women have been killed for no just cause by the police in america and in my own case it affects me because i have my brother is currently residing in america my brother is a black even though right now he's literally just been sworn into the u.s army that does not mean that he's 100 percent safe because he is still a black man and no matter what people there are some racists who would still look down on him because he is black despite him being a serviceman and you know being in the army and everything so it's crazy having a brother you know or having family like i have aunties i have cousins you know living in a diaspora who face racism on a daily basis and also the thing the same thing goes for us here in nigeria i mean what about the young guys that face police brutality here in nigeria that face issues with sars you just get judged for the way you look in nigeria if you're a young guy you have tattoos you keep dreadlocks and they see you with a computer or a laptop in your car you're automatically a yahoo boy like automatically you're a yahoo boy and before you know what is happening sars has picked you up and you can't even begin to explain you guys the sun is going up and down just in case you're wondering you know what's going on with my lighting there's stories every day people are calling out sars on social media you know for harassing them for accusing them of being yahoo boys and all of that the same thing goes for us here and nobody is doing anything about it nobody is doing anything about it it's so sad you guys and the killing of george floyd has really 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 taking over the world because you guys i'm seeing protests happening all over the world in europe in amsterdam in france in the uk in new zealand in australia everybody is standing up and i've seen lots of protests that have a lot of white people as well white people are equally standing up well of course we know that the actual racists are still down in their houses and doing nothing but there are a ton of white people who are joining these protests all over the world because you guys enough 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 is enough enough is enough i see that one is not even enough Say, we in nigeria are facing our own issues my heart literally shattered into a million pieces when i saw the story of owa the girl in benin who was raped in church hey jesus christ we have animals roaming around like we have legit animals roaming around as men i don't understand when i heard that story i was just cold i was just like what 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 is going on a girl went to read in church church like it's supposed to be more or less like the safest place she was raped and killed inside a church i'm like can the world just end already like can the world legit just come to an end so that we can all rest from all this wickedness it's crazy then i heard about the story about um um tina the 16 year old girl in lagos who was killed by police bullets just like like you guys i think that one was not enough i heard about the 12 year old girl that was raped by 11 men in is it in jaga in jigawa that being tired but in jigawa said i think a 12 year old girl a child raped by 11 men 11 full-grown men deemed its feet to violate this girl to the point I don't know has anybody been arrested if you guys by the time this vlog is going on please let me know in the comment section below has any single person been arrested with regards to the rape and murder of that 12 year old girl 12 year old i was barely in gss3 when i was 12 years old i didn't know what sex was at 12 years old and a 12 year old girl was raped by 11 men 11 men 11 animals and as I yesterday, 
I was I heard that the Senate was going to probably seek for castration as a punishment for rape but like yesterday that thing was thrown out it was thrown out let's not even start with the rapes the rapist apologies that be the rape apologists I don't know what they are called but let's not even start with the rape apologists out there who ask stupid questions somebody was raped by 11 men somebody was raped in a church and killed and murdered and a stupid fool is asking what was she what, what was she doing there by that time of the night oh, somebody even went as far as saying well universities have been closed so which book was she going there to go and read somebody was asking oh what was she wearing it could be maybe what she was wearing oh ladies please you people should stop dressing indecently i'm telling you the kind of things you see on social media in the last one week i cannot remember how many times i have literally had to just close my phone and just put my head on the pillow and try to sleep because the bad news is just too much it's too much and for your own mental health you guys i advise that once in a while log out log out for your own sanity before you run mad because the bad news can legit was legit going to make me go crazy not too long ago, I think it was even two days ago, I heard about the other case about Barakat, who was also raped and murdered in Ibadan, was it in Ibadan or somewhere? And I'm like, okay, so rape is now normal. So rape is now a normal thing. And I hear that in Nigeria, only 65 cases of rape have been convicted. In Nigeria, only 65. Only in the whole Nigeria, over these years, all these years, only 65 cases. Ah, this country country is a waste i wasn't even going to talk about this with you guys like on a more serious note i was just going to just brood in silence but i can't help it i just can't help it because i have a daughter and i fear that you know she's gonna have to be looking over her shoulder all the all the rest of her life like for the rest of her life because we have monsters we have people like you hear about cases of even your family members raping you as children uncles brothers nephews cousins people that you're supposed to people that are supposed to be protecting you in even some cases fathers raping their daughters in some cases priests pastors and my, my head i'm just like are we really safe anywhere as women are you really safe nowhere is safe nowhere is safe you cannot go out on a jog just go out and take a walk without looking over your shoulder you can't go out alone without taking down the plate number of the car you're entering you can't i think i'm done ranting i'm i'm done ranting you guys i think that was not even in all of this horrible terrible things that have happened and then personally for me in the last week i damaged one of my lenses literally i damaged one of our camera lenses and in my head i'm like with everything going on in the world right now i don't even need this extra thing right now but one of our lenses fell from me and got damaged and that lens is the lens that jesse uses to do his photography 99.9 percent .9 of the time and i damaged it it fell from me fell on the ground and it just got damaged it's not working anymore and that has even put me that has even added to my foul mood this week because i'm like it never rains but pours really replacing that lens right now is not even an option because let's not even go there let's not even go there i've just been so this week has just been higi haga for me you know i've just been like now my that lens is damaged it's only this lens i'm using now to film that we have and when he has a photo shoot he has to think about what to do because he can't even shoot with this lens you know he has to shoot with that kind of lens and I'm just like, why did this have to happen now? You know, I mean, there's a lot of things that we're using money to do right now, and buying a lens right now is not even one of those things. I guess we'll just have to. So I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I really don't know what's gonna happen about that one. But I'm just really, really sad with everything that has happened this week. Air your views in the comment section below about all of these issues, okay? Hmm. You guys. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Mama? Hmm? Water. Water? You want water? Mama? Yeah, Mimi? Water. Water? Um, Ellie? Please bring her water for me. <laughs>
<laughs> Say hi. Say hi now. Hmm. Small water that you drank now, eh? All this your fake, fake water, water, water. Be going. Bye. The next day. Mama, I like your dress. What are you eating? Cutting egg? Mm, I like your dress. And your sandals, they're so cute. Mm? You guys see her face. Mosquitoes dealt with her last night. You're laughing? <laughs> Mosquitoes dealt with my child though, you guys. I have to go and buy anti-malaria. She hates sleeping in her crib. If not, her crib has a net. I'm, am I talking too much? If not, her crib has a net. Put her in her crib. In the next two seconds, she will wake up. So she prefers to sleep with us on the bed. And I had no idea that there were mosquitoes yesterday. They literally beat only her. Like this. I only beat me like once. But look at... Hmm? Can you just imagine this? I'm going to buy you anti-malaria, okay? Sweetie... I'm so sorry, okay, love? You will not agree to sleep in your crib now. If not, your crib has a net. Hmm? You will not agree to sleep in your crib. Well, eh? So, really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys this um, stuff. In my vlog where... I'm talking. Excuse me. Thank you. In my vlog where I was talking about cutting Mia's hair... Mia, can I talk? Thank you. In my vlog where I was talking about cutting Mia's hair, somebody recommended this product. Somebody recommended this product in the comment section below for Mia's hair. And I ordered this um, from a store on Instagram. Um, and they shipped to me from Lagos. It's called the Do Grow Medicated Hair Vitalizer. So I started using this for her yesterday. And let's see how good that this works. I also got her a satin bonnet. So she's been sleeping with that now for the past two nights. Um, so let's see. Let's hope that this works for Madame's hair. So the person that has been shouting since, just look at. Mia Rose. Mia Rose. Anywho, guys, that's about it for this vlog. I don't want this vlog to be too long, okay? So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching, as always, do not forget to. <laughs> do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Mia! Do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you <laughs> So don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed already Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I can't do this outro anymore. I have to go. Bye!